you know, Tom, when I got the news, it was, you know, it was heartbreaking. I did just try to thank all the good conversation I had with Tom. Like I say, passing the torch to me was always great. I always enjoyed him when he came around talking baseball. He loved talking pitching. I saw him a lot down in Cooperstown, you know, before he got sick. And we always talked baseball. He can remember certain bats and certain things. He loved quizzing me. And one of the things I always talk about, he always said, man, if we played together with his knowledge and my talent, who knows how many games would have won. I think one of the things that stuck out the most, he always told me about when you're pitching um, on your side days, you know, we always told maybe 12 minutes, 15 minutes, but he said, always have a purpose when you're on the side working on your stuff. And even if you're struggling, once the game started, you don't worry about mechanics, you don't worry about anything because it becomes muscle memory at that time. And even the days you don't have your best stuff, you don't want to pull the team right. You want to keep the same mound presence. And when you take the mound, you're going to feel like you're the best guy on the field that particular day. And he was always positive, and I just enjoyed talking to him. And I would definitely miss just talking to him as a friend. And he's the one who always told me, and the thing I try to preach to young guys now, playing professional baseball, you got to remember that it's a privilege to do that. You know, and get the opportunity to do it because so many people have the talent and want to do it. As long as you remember that it's a privilege to wear that big league uniform, you'll always, you know, go, go a little further and last a little longer. His legacy to me would be the way you wear the uniform. He's the guy that led by example. And I think all the young guys that come up should remember that. And maybe the message show a fan to the young guys and the minors on the way he handled himself and the way he went about his business, first class all the way. Well, it's a, definitely a, a sad day for baseball, a sad day for the Met organization, and a sad day for me. I, I grew up as a Tom Seaver. I idolized him. I was a Met fan growing up. and uh, As a kid, you always want to be Tom Seaver. And I had the honor and privilege of meeting Tom a number of times when he came to spring training, uh, just uh, sitting down and talking to him about pitching and his thoughts. You know, I grew up a Met fan, and he was more my idols. Uh, uh, I loved watching him pitch. Uh, he was, the, I think, the greatest pitcher of all time. And uh, it's a sad day for everyone involved with baseball, and my heart goes out to his wife, Nancy, and his daughters. Well, I always remember him talking about this, this being confident, believing in yourself, and, and, you know, when you wear a Met uniform, you're representing the club on and off the field. And just be proud and, and, and privileged to to be a Major League Baseball player because uh, far and few many could be a big league player. He had the best mechanics. I mean, this is why he pitched so long. He had, I don't think he ever had an arm injury, if I can think right now. So his mechanics were perfect. And uh, as a young pitcher now, and if you are a young pitcher, you would love to see his mechanics and the way that he, you know, delivered the ball and his mechanics every day in and day out. He just there's a repetition over and over again the way he he, he uh, pitched. It was a it was a machine in motion, man. He was just a pleasure to watch. He is uh, he is up there. He is the man. He is the man of New York City, man. He he put the Mets on the map. You know, uh, you could say the same thing about Joe Namath. You know, Joe Namath and, and Tom Seaver and Clyde Frazier in, in 1969. But uh, Tom was, uh, he was the guy for baseball in this town. And uh, that's why his nickname was Tom Terrific and the franchise, because there will always be the franchise. Uh, there will never be another pitcher like him.